Hello, my name is Jack and today we're going to be unboxing the Corsair 5000D and the Corsair IQ 5000X and we're just going to be having a look and see what's different about them. Uh, I think we'll start with, which one should we start with? The uh, 5000X will do I think. So I, uh, I actually have a Corsair case at home. I have a uh, uh 570x it's a mirror god this is the bluntest knife the um corsair is the x570 mirror black i think i've got it's uh pretty old now but it's it's really nice i really like corsair cases actually um just in general the reason i got it was because um i was looking for something that was quite roomy and quite stylish as well and corsair seemed to have like the monopoly on really roomy Sort of not over the top, but like stylish cases. Very good to work with. They usually have really decent cable management options. And so hopefully the uh, 5000X has the same. Ooh. There she is. So it's uh, it's pretty big. It's, uh, it's a good, it's a, it's a good size. It's not too big. It's definitely, but it's big enough to make a statement. You know, you want to put or your fancy components and stuff in there. It is quite centerpiece size, it's definitely, and it's really quite discreet as well at the same time. There's no vibrant colors dancing about and it's just all nice and black with uh, this powdered sort of metal finish. It uh, doesn't mark, uh, obviously the glass will, but um, the metal doesn't, which is nice when you're pressing buttons and stuff. You don't want to be cleaning fingerprints off it every 10 minutes. Quick view from the front here. As you can see, you've got the uh, Corsair logo down there at the bottom, which they usually do, which will probably light up, um, which is always nice to have. Around the back, this will be your cable management side. You've just got your standard glass panel, but here um, you've got another vent, actually, which is uh, interesting because I think this is the first case I've seen with this vent in the back. Um, there, there probably is others. Uh, I don't know about the previous um, case, but I'm pretty sure it did as well. And obviously at the back, you've still got your standard uh, 120 mil exhaust, all of your uh, PCIe slots, and a place to vertically mount a GPU as well, which is always nice to have built into the case so you don't have to buy a bracket and take up all of your uh, PCIe slots at the back. Already got that support which is nice. I like to see that. The thumb screws don't pull completely out which is again nice because you uh, tend to get them a bit lost when they fall out. So one thing I have noticed is, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same on every case, is this is actually quite hard to open and it's very easy to Put too much pressure on it and just force it open and um when i just opened it then it was it's really stiff i'll put it on to try and do it again but it's still not uh still not being very forgiving so it does open outwards like that it's kind of a wing okay so inside the uh 5000x you've got pretty much standard you know uh, pc case you've got a uh, where your motherboard goes, it is a uh, mid-tower ATX, so you've got room for obviously an ATX board, a full size. Um, three RGB fans at the front, which they come installed as standard, which is nice. Um, you've actually got four places to mount a radiator in this case. You've got support for a 120 at the back, support for a 360 at the top, support for another 360 at the front, and behind this panel here, you've got support for another 360 radiator, which is really nice, obviously, with uh, Corsair delving into, uh, obviously, the own uh, AIOs, they, they manufacture AIO coolers, but, well, not so recently, they released their hydro liquid cooling uh, kits and components, so they've really been adding support for them in their cases, which is nice. You like the option to uh, customise your cooling, uh, so this is a brilliant case to have for that. Oh, see, that was nice. Maybe it's maybe it's just a side panel. It might not be on every single case. It just might be this one. So you take the uh, obviously essential masking tape. Oh, it's, it, it is old in the... Oh, I see. Okay, that's that's a really free door. Okay, so you've got this really nice, neat little uh, door here that just neatly hides everything because obviously you've got a glass uh, rear panel, so you don't want ugly cables getting in the way of that. But we have got this nice cable management lane 
right down the middle of the case, which is pretty standard to see in Corsair cases. Loads of room for SSDs. And over here, this is a PWM controller that supports up to six fans. The case actually itself supports, I think, up to 10 120 millimeter fans. Well, that's, that's at once. This is You can have 10 of these in, but only six on the PWM controller, which allows you to control your fans off one header. Uh, just fan controller, really, which it's nice to have the support for, really. This is the other side of uh, the radiator support bracket that was obscured by that front panel there. But yeah, all in all, I'd say it's a, it's a really nice case. Obviously, you've got the uh, standard front panel connectors here with your power button, USB 3, two of them, USB C, uh, microphone and headphone jack combined, and a reset button. So it's nice that they have a reset button. Would have preferred a separate um, microphone and uh, headphone jack, but you can't have everything. But yeah, all in all, I'm just going to stick this to one side and we're going to have a look at the 5000D and just see how they compare. Okay, so let's get the 5000D out of the box and say, oh, this, this comes out much easier. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Oh, this one's white. I did not know that. Nice white. I do like white pcs i mean i know like black was the standard and black was all the rage but I, I think um i think white pcs are much easier to add color to okay so th this is this is pretty i like this um i think in essence they are the same case it's just there's a few key differences obviously this is a different color um there's no there's not as much glass is that is that no, it's not plastic, it's just the plastic on it, never mind, I thought I was plastic. There's no glass top, it's only a grill. The same with the front as well, that's only a grill. No glass, and on the back, it's just a standard uh, side panel as well, just metal. No glass. So obviously the only glass we've got is the front, uh, sorry, the um, visible side. And... Yeah, so let's uh, let's take a look inside this one. Let's see if the uh, side panel behaves. See if it's easy to take off this one. Like I said, I think they are essentially the same case. It's just uh, this one's a little more budget orientated or less in your fit. No, this one's this one's not nice either. I just pulled the whole screw out. Oops. Okay, that's not as bad. I'm scared now. Okay, so inside, obviously, it is it is pretty much the same. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison in a second. But um, we do have this, like, nice kind of... Can you see it from the back there? Uh, they are grey. Yeah, they are grey. Um, so that's a nice contrast. Obviously, you've got this grey sort of bezel around the edge at the front as well, which I do think creates a really nice look. I like that colour combination together. But everything else, as far as we can tell, is exactly the same. Nice little, uh, nice grill down there as well for airflow at the bottom of the case, just above the PSU. I didn't mention in the last case. It'll be interesting to see if it does have that little uh, flap there for cable management. Oh, much easier. And it does, complete with masking tape as well. Look at that, they didn't scrimp. So yeah, it's uh, it's very much of the same. Uh, oh no, it's not actually. We don't have the PWM controller, which makes sense again. It, it is more budget orientated, but um, yeah, that's interesting. You've only got the fan controller, so you'll have to control uh, power um, individually. Uh, I think you've got the same number of SSD mounts. Um, so yeah, I think they're pretty much the same. Let's put them together, let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, they are pretty much the same thing, just obviously um, the white case here, the uh, 5000D, only comes with one fan at the front. Uh, I don't know how easy that is to see. Uh, you can remove the front panels as well on both. Obviously this one's glass around here. That's just, just a clip. That's a real easy clip. And Corsair tend to do these nice little clippy dust filters as well, so you can take them off and they're really easy to clean as well and they're really efficient at catching dust. This one, the uh, 5000X is exactly the same thing, just with a glass panel. As you can see, it's the same dust filter as well, just magnetically mounted. So you just push it in when you get it right, and there you go. Right, okay, so I think that about closes it, to be honest. Um, obviously, the uh, 5000X is gonna be your more premium case. Um, it comes with RGB fans, it comes with the PWM controller, 
Uh, it comes with the nice uh, glass panel. I think every panel on this is glass. Every, yeah, you got the side, cable management, top and front panels are all glass, so you can see into it through every which angle. This case, the 1000D, I really do like, I must say. I like it in this color. I hope you can get it in. I'm pretty sure you will be able to get this in white because I think it, it look, this looks so much nicer, but this is your more budget orientated. You got a lot of metal as opposed to glass. You don't have the PWM controller, unfortunately, so you have to control everything manually. Um, and only one fan as well. So you're gonna have to, uh, two fans, sorry, only one front fan, one rear fan that are non-RGB. So obviously you're gonna have to add a little bit more to this uh, fan wise if you wanna get it up and running. But yeah, that is about it. Links in the description to both of these cases. Um, and obviously uh, like and subscribe if you like the video, uh, give us a comment. And if you click over here, this will take you to another one of our videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.